Hey guys, Maritza here. Another hot day today. I um riding my back bike back from the gym. It's pretty hot, so I was gonna go for a walk, but we have an excessive heat warning right now and I don't think it's a good idea. I think walking days has to be like earlier. Um, so the days that I go to the gym, I'm going to be able to walk in this excessive heat. I, um, I wanted to speak candidly about a lot of things uh, that have been on my mind. And I'm sorry for the AC, but I can't, I can't not have the AC. It's really hot. The noise of the air conditioning is just not being part of the background noise. I wanted to say that this time that I've had alone, reflecting, thinking, dealing with pain and hurt, has been a good time um, for my growth. And not to say that I'm, I'm fully grown, you know. It's gonna, it's gonna take some time. I think that heading on the road is gonna really help with that. You know, um, the open road has that kind of effect, and I think that it's something that's really needed for me. I've um, grown to understand that my personality. The inability of me having filters, which has always been a, a massive problem for me all my life. Um, I say things how I feel them, and sometimes I'm too blunt and don't have the filters, no filters whatsoever. So, and part of my Asperger, it doesn't help. But I want you to really understand that. I've never really meant any ill harm towards anyone. But I truly believe what I believe in. And let's put aside my religious belief or spiritual beliefs. Um, even if I did not believe in Christ or God, I still, for me, think that the life that I led was not the best life that I could have led. It wasn't conducive to where I am today. Had I got married with children, I would have a different life than the life that I have right now. So, in that part, you know, I truly believe that I could have made better choices, but that's what, that's how my life turned out. I say what I say a lot of times with urgency because I feel that other people should probably make better choices as, as well. But it's not up to me, you know. I don't want to sound like I'm some drill sergeant or telling you how to live your life or make you feel in any way that I'm judging you. I'm just sharing my life, my experience, my belief, my thoughts, unfiltered. I... I know that for me and for a lot of the individuals that I've interviewed, we pretty much all share one thing in common, and that's the fact that trauma of some sort led us to the choices that we made. And I truly believe that a very large majority of people that elect to live a certain way, they make that selection based on trauma. Now, my personality, my strong-willed, alpha-ish, you know, type of personality has nothing to do with my biological makeup, right? I mean, it's just, this is my personality. I've been like this all my life, you know, I've always my mannerisms, the way I speak. I mean, from a very young age, you know, my mother and my, my aunts were very worried about me because this is the way that I was. 
you can't control that, you know. Why I developed these mannerisms, you know, there could be different reasons for it. I, I was probably emulating my father, um, didn't want to emulate my mother, for whatever reason. I mean, there's so many different things um, that create who we are, you know, and make up our personality. Our personality, I, um, I believe that stems from what we see and how we we engage with the world. I mean, if you look at twins, for instance, genetically, they're both the same, but the twins don't both have the same personality. So that, you know, that tells you that you're not born with a personality. You develop it depending on how you navigate your life and how you create that reactionary cascade of neurons and dendrites and the building blocks that make you you and we all have a different way how we perceive things so in saying that I believe that it's tremendously important to allow yourself to be who you are without putting yourself in a box in a gender box or I behave this way so I I'm, I'm gonna be better off being a man or I behave this way and I'm better off being a woman you know I've always had this duality about me with the leading character being more masculine. I mean, that's, that's me, you know? Whether you put me in a dress or you put me in a pair of pants, I, I don't know how to act differently. And if I do try to be more feminine, it comes across as a massive put on. I, I do have a lot of nurturing inside of me and a lot of domesticated things. And not to say that all women have to be domesticated, but it's me. That's, you know, I love to cook. I love to clean. I love to be organized. You know, I love to pamper the person I'm with. Um, I'm not a fixer-upper. I don't, I'm not that handy with things like I should be, I guess, but... You know, I'm more creative, I'm more of an artist. You know, everything I do, I think in poetry, making music. So, I have this phone, it's like a little device thing, but it moves with the AC. So I'm sorry for making you a little sick. I had started to make the video sitting down over there and something happened where it, the video disappeared. So I figured, let me sit over here on the sofa and make it with my phone. The computer was acting up a little bit. So, growth is only achieved, in my opinion, if we learn to analyze, sit with things, meditate on it, digest it, for those of you that are believer, believers, have the conversation with God and allow Him to allow Him to free you from the old patterns, the, the old hurt patterns, the, the programming. You know, because I think it's important that we learn how to break free from that pain from the past. Because if we stay there, it, it's not gonna allow us to grow. It's just gonna create remorse, anger, fear, self-fulfilling prophecy of everyone always hurts me, you know, and, and you fall into this trap that never ends. So, for me, one of the things right now that I'm learning is to like, I'm not gonna force myself to look a certain way to appease people. I'm not gonna look a certain way to, to try to prove that I'm a woman, because I know that I'm a woman, no matter how I, I look. You know, and that's something that's important because it takes a lot of my energy, my, my thought process, it brings on a lot of fear, and there's no need for that. 
you know, it really is, and it, it doesn't help me in any way. I'm still growing and learning to, to feel comfortable in my skin with who I am, you know, because uh, 17 years of presenting as Mark Angelo, and, you know, Mark Angelo is a name I created so that I could give myself permission to share my personality with the world without getting judged because a woman is not supposed to act a certain way. So Mark Angelo was my permission slip so that I could act the way that I act without being judged. So, and I wonder how many of you actually do that too. You know, I wonder how many of you feel shame for being you. And so you have to create a name and a character so that you could feel free for being you. Because there is nothing that I can do to my body to make me anything other than who I am. You know, it's, I am me. I've got a personality. I've got my way of thinking. I've got my mannerisms. And this is me. You know, I don't need to add a male name so that people could feel comfortable with me. You know, society needs to learn how to feel comfortable with people as they are so that we don't end up doing the things that we're doing to ourselves trying to fit into some sort of box. I don't know how many of you could relate to that. I don't know how many of you uh, don't agree with me and think that you have to do whatever it is that you have to do and that's fine. I'm not telling you not to. It's your life. I, you know, I've, I've come across harsh enough. I've come across bigoted enough and judgmental enough. I don't want to continue to do that because I think that just, it helps no one, you know. Making enemies doesn't help anybody. And I think as a species, we need to learn how to agree to disagree, learn to respect each other's views and opinions, and learn to be cordial. So, I'm hoping to continue to grow, evolve, be less confrontational, understanding that Everyone has a different way of thinking, you know. I think one way, you think another way, and that's okay. But it should be okay for me to respect your thoughts and what you say, but it should also be okay for you to respect my thoughts and what I say. Um, what I'm working on is finding ways of doing it more gently, more respectful, so that we can listen to one another, because nobody listens to anyone when we're screaming at one another, when we're judging one another in a bad way because we're supposed to judge in a good way. There's two different ways of judging. You, know, you judge someone to be mean or you judge someone to try to help them. If I make myself clear on that one. But anyway, um, gosh, I wish it wasn't so hot because I could really love to go for a walk, but something tells me not a good idea, you know, because it, it's, it's really, really hot outside. It's like 102 degrees and climbing, and they have like a heat warning. When they have a heat warning, the other day when I went for a walk, that was like not a good idea. But today I, I'm listening. I'm not gonna go out there. It is hotter than molasses. So anyway, I, I hope that I, you know, that I'm making myself clear here. Um, and I hope there's no hard feelings. I know that many of you do have hard feelings. And, and I don't blame you. I really don't. Um, you have felt judged by me. You have felt all sorts of things. And, you know, when you're... It's like an ex-smoker. First time you quit smoking and you're like, you can't stand the smell. You, you're judging everyone. You shouldn't do that. You know, it's bad for your health. You know? And then after past years have gone by, you're like, whatever. You know, not my problem. But I do want you to benefit from the love of our Creator. And the only way that I'm going to be a good steward is by showing you the love of that Creator. The only way I'm going to be a good steward is to make friends, not enemies. You know, because we are told not to have strife, not to have arguments with one another. 
and um, that's something that I'm definitely learning and trying to work on. We all have something to work on, and I have many things that I'm working on, but eventually I'll get it. Uh, can't wait to be out on the road, and I think that's going to really help me mellow out a little bit more. Uh, so, before I end, I want to say I'm sorry to anyone that I've hurt. If you want to take my apologies, you know. I'm just a work in progress, and I'm growing, and I'm learning, and I'm evolving, and, you know, my beliefs are mine, and I don't want to force it on anyone else, because that's, we all, I think we all learn what we have to be eventually, you know, and if somebody asks me, I could, you know, give them my two cents, you know, and every now and then I'll make a video saying what I feel, and that should be okay, you know, because... They're my feelings. It's my, my opinion. Uh, all right, guys. I'll uh, catch you guys later. Love you. But remember to always love yourselves, too.